Thank you, Commissioner Watson. Just so you know, I just sent out a tweet, hashtag need money. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> this request is to expand the budget for $30,000. It's going to be for $10,000 a year for physical year 16, 17, 18. This request is for the council to advise hunting and shooting sports. This council has is, is been newly created, and it's only one of its kind. It was created in response to the disturbing trends in decreasing hunting and shooting sports participation. This council will work with the state agencies, uh, wildlife agencies, to identify trends and to develop and create strategies to increase hunting and shooting sports participation. Uh, these are all federal dollars. Uh, they, they stem from Section 10 money out of the Hunter Education uh, uh, funding. There are no state dollars involved and the match dollars will come from the council. Okay. Remind everybody again, we're, we're back into committee. So do I hear a motion? Okay, thank you, Commissioner Swan. Do I hear a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion from the public? Any discussion from the committee? For the commission? Okay. Again, it's committee vote. All for it. Say aye. Any against? Okay. Mr. Chairman, the Budget Committee voted, and I recommend passage of proposed budget expansion, advancing hunting and shooting sports in the amount of $30,000. Thank you, Chairman Watson. This is the fun stuff here that we get to vote on, where it takes care of kids and promotes, promotes the hunting and shooting. Uh, I have a motion on the floor. Do I have a second? Second. Is there any discussion from the commission? Any discussion from the public? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. The budget expansion of $30,000 for the uh, advancing hunting and shooting sports is approved. Chairman Watson. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to call Ken Tarkenton, Chief of Administrative Services. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, there should be a <clears throat> financial report uh, in your in your books. I'll be reporting through the month of February. At the, uh, at the top of the first page, the, uh, uh, the voting fund is, is identified. The income registration is approximately 2.2% less than what uh, we'd anticipated or what we received at this same point in time last year. Uh, our expenses approximate 48 or 46% of the annual allotment. Uh, the middle of the page, the wildlife fund, we're essentially even with what our projections are. Uh, I think we'll see in March that, uh, that we've, we've come up quite a bit through the, through the March and, and New Year sales. Uh, on the expenditure uh, section of the uh, wildlife fund, uh, we're at almost 44% of the uh, total year's allotment. Uh, at the bottom of the page, the two endowment funds are uh, described or identified. The Watchable Wildlife uh, has a balance of uh, a little over $6 million with $46,000 available to, uh, for transfer. The Lifetime Sportsman uh, Endowment has uh, a little over $44 million uh, in that fund. At the top of the second page, the uh, Wetlands Acquisition fund has a balance of almost $17 million four. Uh, we've zeroed the maintenance account out as we usually do, and the compensation or in lieu of tax uh, currently is at uh, $846,000. Any questions or comments? Questions from the commission? Hey, but I got one quick question. What is the, is, did we transfer part of the wetlands money into the investment account? No. So it's, it, it stays there. Um, and I should know this, but I've forgotten, I guess. The, the investment account, how often are you able to, to get any monies off, the, off of that? Well, we, we've discussed that quite a bit at length. <laughs> uh, uh, the, the short answer is whenever we want it, uh, the process, since we haven't gone through it, I don't know how long it takes, but what I've been told is we would make a request uh, in writing. 
and the treasurer would review and assign and, and, and approve all of these. Uh, and then the investors would need then to sell some of the shares, whatever the appropriate amount to equal the amount we want to withdraw. And then that would occur at a, an opportune time. Uh, could be a week, could be two weeks, et cetera. Okay. But you're somewhat, uh, you know, subject to market fluctuations in that period of time, too. Any other questions? Commissioner this, Blesson. This last page that's got our total endowment and everything, the sportsman's license reserves and totals up to, what, $66 million? Yes. Is that 1.57, our current interest rate that we're receiving? That that is, the, that's a percent gain, I guess. That's percent gain since over time and the first – transfer was during the middle of October and has occurred since that time also in the endowment funds. But since that time, the long answer is yet, yes, 1.57%. What's our interest rate right now? Do you have it off the top of your head? There? In the SPIF or the lower? Yeah. I think it's 0.3, 0.3%. 0.31, .3%, 0.3 something like that. 0.31%. And it and by the way, it's increased significantly in the last on a percentage basis in the last three or four months. It was around 0.2 percent. Any other questions or comments? Any other questions or comments? Okay. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Let's turn it back to you. Thank you, Chairman Watson. Appreciate it. Um, any other discussion points from the commission or even the public? If I may, let me hit a handful of things and uh, we will adjourn. I will ask the commission and particularly the wildlife and regional staffs to stay for a five minute informational meeting following this. Uh, the public is welcome to stay as well. There's no one's excluded, but uh, we need to have an informational-only session here. Um, we talked about the Sportsman's Caucus last night and a group of unsung heroes that should have been sung earlier today, and for that I apologize. But our wildlife officers uh, were a remarkable help to the hospitality there. And from folks who perceive them as doing nothing, I think it's been said today, they write tickets. Uh, let me assure you, they are the ones that helped make that event successful. They were there. You didn't see them because they, they were humble and quiet about what they did, but it would not have been a success without them. And so uh, my hat's off to them. Thank you so much. Darren, if you would pass that on, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. They did a heck of a job. Uh, Chris Richardson has stepped out. Um, I would guess next month, Ed, would it be appropriate to get an update from Chris on how things have done on the Hill? Um, if you get the chance, whether it's staff, whether it's commission, it doesn't matter. Chris has done a yeoman's job of carrying the banner for this agency. He is well respected on the Hill. We hear nothing but praise. He's had some bears by the tail this year and the bear hadn't bit him yet. And, um, remarkable job remarkable job and it's uh we have a lot to be thankful for there i spoke with dwight yesterday uh this time last year we talked about and actually approved monies for carroll lake uh, the reconstruction of the spillway and in fact and correct me if i'm wrong dwight bids are going to be open this coming thursday uh for the fabrication of the spillway itself we're thinking fall things may be complete the good lord willing and that the way the lake has filled in some of the rains here recently, it probably will be full before the end of the year. So that's pretty exciting. I don't know, is that a fair synopsis from your perspective? Yes, sir. Great. A um, couple things we need, uh, I guess, heart and prayers out to folks. Shane Hall, our Moment of Freedom coordinator, continues to go through surgeries related to what he is fighting. They actually airlifted him to Vanderbilt 
a few weeks ago because of loss of blood. He is back in Jackson and in fact had surgery yesterday and there's a lot more surgeries to go. If there's anybody who has championed the cause of the moment of freedom, regardless of how he was doing health-wise, Shane's a man. Uh, and he's working from his hospital room. You see him on Facebook. Um, we need to pray for his family and pray for healing there. And uh, I don't know if that's politically correct, but that's the way I'm going to phrase it. That's what needs to be done right now. Uh, also, Cheryl Holdem, our uh, general counsel, uh, she has had a rough go. It appears that they have finally figured out what's happening with her. Uh, she may be back in a couple of weeks, but it's going to be a long road for her before she's back 100%. But the good news is they found out what's going on with her. So for that, we're very thankful. And if you see her, give her a hug because she's, she truly has had a rough road. Director Carter, anything you would like to add to this? No, sir. I believe you've covered it well. Next weekend is the governor's one shot that the uh, foundation is supporting. Uh, and I uh, hope folks can attend that. I know the commission is going to be well represented. Uh, if there's no other business, we'll adjourn the commission meeting and go into an informational session. Thank you so much.